so Sean and Camilla, I did see because they are, you know, above five seven. So it was easy for me to see <laughs> them. Um, they looked like such a couple. They are absolutely back together. They were, you know, sort of like touching each other playfully. He was kissing the back of her neck. They were making out during sets, holding each other, rocking back and forth. He was like doing this thing where he was like kicking her butt, which like I think was a little mm-hmm. weird, but like she seemed to really enjoy. Um, and they really looked like a couple. They're spotted in LA. You know, it looks like they're back together. Um, after sort of what seemed like a rough, really transition year for both of them with their breakup, they both opened up about, you know, having sort of like hard times mentally after breaking up with each other. But now they seem happy as two little clams. Are you guys yeah, happy about Sean and Camila? I just thought it was really interesting. Like, I always love a makeup after a breakup. And, okay, so maybe they are just friends, but it was, like, really Mm, exciting to see them kind of all over each other, especially at some place like Coachella that is, like, so, 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 so public. On the other hand, you know, was it completely staged because they were someplace so, 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 so public, like Coachella? And, you know, there are, you know, so many rumors about those two and like were they actually ever really together so who knows well to add fuel to that fire gwen i don't know if you <laughs> saw that camilla cabello released a snippet of a new song coming out mm-hmm. um called june gloom mm-hmm. and there's lyrics about coachella it's is she sings how come you're just so much better is this gonna end ever and i guess i'll f around and find out are you coming to coachella if you don't it's whatever if you do honey it'll be all i think about so to drop you know lyrics not subtle to a song just days after you were spotted at coachella with your ex screams a little bit to me like maybe camille cabello was worried no one was going to care that she had a new song coming out and frankly i wouldn't have so it worked Totally. Um, she has my least favorite voice in the industry. I just like, hate the way she sings. I hate the tone of her voice. I think it is so squeaky and scratchy and just really, it, I I love like her songs, but I don't know. I just had to say that because it really is my least favorite. Uh, they did look very much like a couple. It did not look fake to me. It looked like two people sort of reconciling who really, really liked each other. And I like their backstory, how they met. Sean Mendes opened for Fifth Harmony on tour when he was like 13, maybe years old for oh god what was that first single love it when you, no love it when you just don't care um <laughs> like his actual first single when he was a teenager stitches Uh-oh. was like when he mm. was a man um life of the party so he when he had life you know of the a party, lot about sean mendes discography and i just I, Interesting. I loved life of the party but he was like um like 14 years old when that song came out and he was on tour with fifth harmony and camila cabello oh. was sort of like the older cool girl who wouldn't pay him any attention and he sort of was pining for Very her for years selena and justin isn't it very Selena and Justin? For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.